Dan White. I am CEO at Filament Games. Uh, Filament Games is a local game development studio and we exclusively develop educational games. I'm Katie Frankie, president and owner of Engaging Results Communications, a full service mobile marketing firm headquartered here in Madison. My name is Mark Wilson. I am the CEO and founder of TermSync. We are a software company helping companies better connect with their customers. I'm Jed Rower and I'm a tax and corporate lawyer at Godfrey & Con. Yeah, the coolest thing about working with Sandra Day O'Connor has been witnessing how forward-thinking she is. Uh, she has probably never played a video game in her life, and yet she is staking her legacy uh, in no small part on the idea that video games can be used to teach civics education. Uh, probably the coolest moment was uh, being at a cocktail party with her and having her come up and grab me and my partner Dan Norton by the arm and say, you boys did a good job. That was pretty cool. I started volunteering with the March of Dimes about 11 years ago with March for Babies. And after that, I had my daughter almost very prematurely. Um, thanks to the March of Dimes, she was carried to full term. But because of that, I'm really a lifelong a supporter of the March of Dimes and currently serve on the board of directors for Western Wisconsin. My role with the sale of Jellyfish to Microsoft in 2007 centered around the due diligence that Microsoft's M&A team came in, so helping them get all the financial information they needed, all the HR files, all the legal agreements. Um, most of my work, the initial price was already done, so I was working on the back end and kind of tying up all the loose ends. The common thread between all my community activity is really passion. I think it's hard to be an advocate for issues in the com community uh, that you're not passionate about. And so I really do try to find things that uh, bring out some passion from some walk of my life and, and get involved with that type of an organization. An example of that uh, is the Mother's Milk Bank of the Western Great Lakes, which really comes from me watching my wife breastfeed our two children. My hidden talent is that um, I have a skill for wilderness survival. Um, so on any given day, I'm actually probably more comfortable trying to not die in the Yukon than wearing a tie at the office. <laughs> I recently found a new talent, and that's making apple pie liqueur, which many of my family and friends enjoyed over the holidays. And a secret tip for it is to not go lightly on any of the ingredients. Well, good question. I, uh, although you might not know it by looking at me, I'm 6'3", but I, uh, when there's a limbo contest, I usually get in them and do pretty well. So kind of a hidden talent of mine. Not sure where that comes from. But. Uh, my secret talent is that I studied classical guitar for about 10 years when I was growing up. Studied fairly seriously and got to the point where to really continue to progress, I would have had to devote a lot more time to it, and it was a, a step I wasn't quite willing to, to take in college, and so I sort of let it go, and now I pick up the guitar to knock around with my kids. A guilty pleasure, so I, I own a video game company, and so I actually also like playing games for fun as well. Um, so my guilty pleasure is to block out four to six hours, take a blanket, put it up over the window, and just really dive deep on something that I'm really into. I have many guilty pleasures, um, some of which include chocolate and massages and wine, uh, but my most frequent is coffee. I'm known to have a coffee in hand uh, most all of the day. My guilty pleasure, I'd say, would be reality TV, but not the Survivor, Big Brother types. I'm sure those are fine, I, I just don't watch them. But I like the Swamp People, the History Channel, American Restoration, those, those shows when I kind of just need a break mentally, I, I think I could watch a marathon of those all day. My guilty pleasure also has to do with music. Um, it is angsty, female vocal, top 40 pop music. That is my guilty pleasure. I'm not proud of it, but Carly Rae Jepsen, Z104, bring it up. <laughs>